Guys, here it is, the brand new 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel with an eco diesel engine under the hood. This is a truck that many of you have been asking for for a very long time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the way around the truck inside and out and give you all the specs on the engine. And you'll also see the truck driving not only off-road, but also some on-road as well. This is what it's all about it's under the hood of course and many of you have expressed concern to us with the previous gen of the three liter eco diesel engine and ram guys have saw a lot of that feedback but this is a third generation of the engine it's an all new engine according to ram well they said about 80 percent brand new parts 260 horsepower at 3600 rpm and 480 pound-feet of torque that comes in at 1600 rpm that's class leading torque for a half-ton diesel truck eighty percent new parts what does that all mean well I spoke to the chief engineer to learn everything about what makes this engine unique and also address all of the concerns with emissions and also give you more power and more efficiency. This is not simply a generation two eco diesel upgrade, it's a brand new engine. So we had to change the turbocharger. It is a brand new turbocharger, new generation okay. with low friction, low friction uh, uh, bearings. Uh, the, the two wheels, uh, the turbine and the compressor wheels are uh, new, new generation, high, high, higher uh, efficiency. The biggest part of the change is actually the piston itself, not just the combustion chamber, but also the ring package on the side for lower friction and also a slightly offset pin. And the engineers tell me that that helps with the noise reduction as well. The uh, vacuum pump, which is located in the front, uh, is a new blade design, so with reduced uh, re reduced friction. So, so during its rotation, uh, the, it absorbs uh, less less torque. This uh, low pressure EGR is in, has been added to the existing, the already existing high pressure EGR. And the main reason, main advantage is, it, it, uh, is that it brings uh, the, the draws the, the, the gases up to the DPF. So, so in this way, you do not, uh, you're not stealing energy from the turbocharger. All the gases uh, can go, 100% of the gases can go through the turbocharger. The port uh, geometry is completely designed, redesigned, different from the from the generation two. Uh, there are also some special machining uh, that, in combination with the new intake ports, uh, uh, bring uh, a very an excellent uh, swirl at low speed uh, mm -hmm. and uh, excellent uh, permeability. The permeability means more more flow, more okay. flow. Uh, at high speed. So you have a new and lighter engine block, you have a brand new turbocharger, you have a redesigned exhaust gas recirculation system, redesigned piston for more power and efficiency. This is all according to the engineers at Ram to combine for that class leading power. However, Ram does not have the EPA fuel economy numbers yet. When the truck goes on sale in fourth quarter of this year, 2019. Of course, they will have their ratings from the EPA and you will know exactly what fuel economy this truck is getting. For 2020, the Eco Diesel Ram Rebel is mostly unchanged. It's really stealthy. Well, let me show you a couple of small differences. This badge on the hood is the only sign on the exterior that this is an eco diesel truck. Of course, you can hear the difference in the engine sound, but walk with me around the back. This Rebel is also equipped with an optional Ram box, which I'll show you a little bit later, because it's got a really cool electric plug feature as well. And on the rear, it kind of looks like a V8. 
It's got a dual exhaust system, basically identical to a Hemi V8 truck. And it has a new tailgate as well. It functions like a regular tailgate. It's dampened. Okay, now there's an extra latch here at the bottom, which you can use to open the door, barn door style. And now we have easier access to inside the bed. You can reach in your cargo, maybe you can drive up a forklift here if you're carrying something really heavy. Of course, you have your divider, which this is not new, but it's fairly handy also as an option. And you cannot really retrofit this tailgate to other older Ram trucks. It's really integrated inside of this bed structure because it handles a lot of weight. It will support a lot of weight on this tailgate. So if you want this tailgate, you have to buy a new truck really because you have to replace the entire bed. Now let's get down to the real numbers, payload and towing capability. And the new EcoDiesel for 2020 has both of those covered pretty well. If you get a base two-wheel drive truck with the diesel, the maximum towing rating is 12,560 pounds. That's just about 200 pounds less than the max tow package on the Hemi V8 truck. And this Rebel will tow a little bit less, of course, because it's a crew cab and it's a four-wheel drive. But you can still get the towing mirror on the Rebel if you want to use this truck to bring all your toys to the base of the mountain and then take your side-by-sides maybe deep into the wilderness. You can do that as well. Now, what about payload? Well, let's check the sticker. This Ram Rebel, as it sits, 1198 pounds so basically 1200 pounds of payload and if this was a two-wheel drive truck base model eco diesel um, payload maximum is 2040 pounds which matches best in class for half ton diesel trucks Ford has basically the same rating on payload the off-road components remain the same the Rebel still rides a little bit higher by about one inch than regular Ram 1500 trucks you still have the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrek tire, 33 inch tall. You still have an 18 inch wheel here and the styling remains the same. You can also get the optional side steps and air suspension on this truck is available or steel coil suspension is still here. On the interior, not much has changed. This particular Ram Rebel has an 8-inch display for the infotainment system. Here it is coming on, online. Your HVAC controls, and then your other controls down here. This is for your air suspension. Of course, you have got your traction control, tow haul mode, and park assist. And down here is the new console. This configuration up front here can be different truck to truck. This just has a place for your phone. So you can hold and charge your phone with a wire in this case. Some other trucks also have a wireless charger pad here. And these ports may be moved to the side to either have a little cubby hole or like a DVD player as well. Down here there is um, another outlet to charge maybe something like your laptop. And of course, reconfigurable console here. With lots of space down below as well. There's some Easter eggs, of course. There's the generations of Ram trucks and Dodge trucks, of course. Backing up the new three liter Eco Diesel is an eight speed automatic transmission. It's still eight speeds as before, but Ram says it has been updated for the new engine because it produces a lot more torque the old Eco Diesel produced 420 pound feet of torque. Now you have 480. And also the shift schedule has been updated for this truck. Everything should work together to provide you as much fuel economy as possible. I just wish I knew what it was. 
those numbers are not available yet. Here's a pretty neat feature. Here by the left knee of the driver, there is a switch to enable 115 volt outlet in the RAM box, which is back here on this side. You can carry tools inside the box and charge them at the same time. There's also a light switch right here that operates these lights. So if it's dark, you can kind of eliminate and see what you have in here. Both the diesel fuel filler and the DEF filler are right here next to each other. And there's actually two options for fuel tanks. You can get a 26 gallon fuel tank with the diesel or the bigger 33 gallon tank if you want that maximum driving range which this diesel is all about, really. Here's another cool part. What you see here is a Tradesman base truck, two-wheel drive, still has the Eco Diesel engine under the hood, and Ram is offering the new third-gen Eco Diesel across the board, from Tradesman to Bighorn to Laramie, to Laramie Longhorn to Limited, and of course the Rebel as well. And two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, quad cab or crew cab. That's pretty cool. This morning, the Ram engineering team told us that maximum payload on the diesel for 2020 is 2,040 pounds, but I just found this tradesman with a higher payload sticker, 2,055 pounds. Boom, eked out another 15 pounds. And check it out, six person configuration, shorter quad cab, two wheel drive. It's a fairly nice work truck and this is where it starts on the base pricing. The half-ton turbo diesel truck competition is getting really heated. You have the Ford F-150 with their 3.0-liter V6 turbo diesel. Now GM just unveiled their straight-six 3.0-liter Duramax diesel. And here we have the updated third-generation Eco Diesel in this truck. The Ram for 2020 has the most towing at 12,560 pounds and it's also the king of torque at 480 pound-feet of torque. Although it does not have the most horsepower, that title goes to the GM inline six engine with 277 horsepower. Here at TFL we make you a promise. You saw it here first, which is why we did this video. But there's still three things we don't know. I don't have the pricing information for you yet. We don't know the EPA fuel economy numbers on this diesel and this segment is getting really competitive. It has to come close or beat the GM truck at 33 mpg to stay on top and also the driving impressions will come a little bit later. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world truck reviews.